What if the United States military presence in Iraq was to end? What would be the implications, the fallout, the ripple effects? A provocative question indeed as we delve into the chronicles of the United States involvement in Iraq, a narrative that spans over decades. The story begins in the late 20th century with the Gulf War and the United States intervention to expel Iraqi forces from Kuwait. This marked the beginning of a long and complicated relationship between the U.S. and Iraq. Fast forward to the invasion of Iraq in 2003 on the premise of dismantling weapons of mass destruction that weren't found, leading to a protracted and controversial military engagement. The year 2014 saw the rise of the Islamic State, also known as ISIS, prompting the United States to re-engage in Iraq, this time leading an international coalition to combat the terror group. This engagement, though successful in diminishing ISIS, has been a point of contention within Iraq, with calls for the withdrawal of U.S. troops growing louder by the day. In the summer of 2023, the United States and Iraq agreed to form a higher military commission, a platform for discussing the next phase of the anti-ISIS coalition and the future of U.S. military presence in Iraq. These discussions have taken on a greater urgency due to the regional instability and the Iraqi government's public calls for the U.S. to withdraw its troops. As it stands, there are about 2,500 U.S. troops in Iraq, operating in an advice and assist capacity since December of 2023. The dialogue now focuses on whether and when it would be feasible to end the U.S. military presence in Iraq. While the United States prefers a schedule based on conditions in Iraq, including the ongoing defeat of ISIS and the stability of the government and the Iraqi security forces, some elements within the Iraqi government prefer a schedule based on a timeline, setting the date for an American withdrawal regardless of the stability or the security situation within the country. As we look towards the future, the key points to consider are the ongoing dialogue between the U.S. and Iraq about the future of the U.S. military presence, the contrasting preferences for withdrawal timelines, and the implications of a potential withdrawal on the stability of Iraq and the wider region. The situation remains fluid, with the future of the U.S. military presence in Iraq hanging in the balance. The outcome of these discussions will undoubtedly have far-reaching effects not just for the United States and Iraq, but for the entire region.